All right, guys. Um, Jane here, and I'm going to be doing a book review. I am not going to be censoring the title in here. I am on the outside because I don't want to offend the great YouTube community. However, I can't talk about the book and not say the title. So here we go. I'll try not to say it too often because I don't curse a whole lot. And um, the book is titled, The Universe Doesn't Give a Flying Fuck About You. And it's by Johnny Truins. And this book is a nonfiction book and it's very, very short. And it's basically an essay on why we should be brave and why we should take chances. I got it free on Kindle, and if you can get it free and are not in an existential crisis and are a creative, it's probably worth having. I really needed the message, but I also could can see where it is maybe not the right book for some people. So enter it cautiously. Um, mainly the author discusses the fact that we have very short lives, what we do in the big course meaning of the universe is probably pretty small and insignificant. And that should give us a sense of bravery because if we mess up, who's going to remember it? You know, most of us are not going to do something so significant that people in 50 years are going to remember it, let alone in two or three hundred. It's a very rare creative whose work lives far beyond them. So basically the message of the book is to be brave and to don't be afraid, to not be afraid to put your work out there, to not be afraid to write the book and put it out there. And it's okay if it gets bad reviews, it's okay if it sucks because in the scope of your life, in the scope of the universe, in the scope of the world, it's an insignificant thing. It's a mint. It's a moment in the world. And even though for many of us, we are afraid of putting our work out. We're afraid of being judged and being criticized for our art. It's a really cool book to give you courage by making it seem like it doesn't matter as much as it feels like it matters. And I do think that this is an important thought for authors because so many of us, I've met so many authors who just can't get over their fear and so nobody ever reads their work and I don't want that to be you or me or anybody else, you know. It's important to be able to write the thing that you want to write without the worry of how will I be judged for this. That doesn't mean write crap. It means do your best but don't feel like you know, oh my gosh, if I fail, this is going to be the end of everything, because most of the time it's not. Um, this essay for me, especially because I really needed to hear it at the time I re read it, was a four out of five. It has a lot of the humor that I love from Johnny Truant. He is um, Johnny B. Truant from Sterling and Stone. I watch their podcast and I love them. They have the Story Studio podcast, and their tone is just their, their tone as a group, and especially his tone, is very light, is very funny, is a little bit sarcastic, and I just love his authorial voice, and I really loved it in this book. Um, one thing I would caution, if you are having any kind of existential crisis, this is probably not the right book for you. This would not be a good book if you're suffering from depression, if you're feeling like your life doesn't matter in a negative way, this could definitely cause you to feel bad about your situation and even more insignificant than you already do. And a couple of the comment people who left comments and reviews of the book also said it doesn't look at things like religion and it downplays our life. And I don't think that was the writer's purpose, and I think they missed the point of the book. 
which again was to, to say be brave and live your best life because life is short and we only get a little bit of it as far as we know. Like it's on, that only a little bit's guaranteed. If you're religious, you know, I'm not trying to downplay your beliefs or say anything like that, but I guess at the same time, like, I'm not sure how much your book, whether it succeeds or fails, is going to matter to you in the next life if there is one. And and again, that's that's really the purpose of this book is be brave and focus on the things that matter. Don't live a life that's miserable because you feel like you have to. Uh, do your art. Take the job that you love, even if it doesn't pay as much, because your life matters. And I think that's a message people need to hear because so many of them, including myself at times, are stuck living kind of a half-life because of fear, because we're afraid if we move to a different job, it won't have the same security, or maybe we won't be able to pay our bills, or maybe the book that we put out will suck and people will hate it and everybody will hate us and we'll be ruined as a writer forever. And in the big scheme of things, those realities are not likely. If you take a job, if you give up the job you have and take a new job and it doesn't work, you'll probably just find a different job. Maybe you'll even go back to the first one if you left on good terms. If you put out a book and it does terribly, put out another book and maybe it'll do better. Try a different pen name. There's so many things we can do, but so many of us are consumed by fear and we let that fear control us. So I think that is the message behind the book, but it definitely needs to be taken in that context and is not a good book to read if you're feeling like life doesn't matter. Because the point of the book is life doesn't matter that much, but that's a good thing because we can take positive risks. But obviously, if you're not in a good mental state, you could take that the wrong way. So if you are a creative and if you need a push to be brave, pick it up. If you are not in a good mental place, do not read this book until you are. And if you're not looking for something to tell you to be brave and to live life to your fullest, you know, then this book is not for you. If you've read it, I'd love to hear what you had to think or had to say about it, your thoughts on it. Uh, also, the social media is below, the like and subscribe button, and I will talk to you later. Bye.